Okay, in this video, uh, this is for Commodore 64 users, maybe other disk users. I have this disk here, and it's actually kind of important. I don't have this in my Commodore 64 copy protection blog. So, I got this off eBay just for this one disk. And the problem was, it doesn't load. I have Jiffy Dos here, so I hit F1. Nothing. Oh, that's a problem. So the first thing you want to do, take the disk out and check the read write head. Right here, we want to take some alcohol and clean that. All right, just you're just going to want to use simple rubbing alcohol, 70 or 90 percent. All the 90 percent upstairs. I don't feel like going up there to get it, and so should have two hands. But uh, we have some alcohol in here. Get in there and clean that, and try to list the directory again. Still nothing. All right, so we need to take this out and clean it. Let's go over here to the light. One thing you might want to do is see how dirty the disc is. Uh, if you see here, this looks pretty dirty, but remember on a floppy disc, it actually, you put this side in, but it's actually reading this side. So, I have to see how damaged the disc is. If you look, there's some like uh, groove lines. Sometimes that's a bad sign uh, from where. Spin this around. Oh, yeah, that's kind of dirty. So what I want to do is, as a last resort, there's really no programs that's helpful for uh, fixing a disc that I've found. Uh, what I want to do is get the index hole, line it up here, because we're going to go around and clean this. And this is kind of like a last resort measure here. Get a couple Q-tips, get out the rubbing alcohol, and let's go around and clean this. You want to see the index hole here because you want to know when we've gone all the way around the disc. All right, so this is kind of wet, and let's just start. Yeah, I'll do it like this. Clean an area. Spin the disc. Clean the next section. You can imagine how long is this going to take to do this. Oh, check this out. I've only done three spots. I'm already getting dirt or crap off here or something. I don't know what this is. Okay, what is all this? Did somebody spill a Coke on this disc? Ah, it's getting pretty dirty. No wonder this disc doesn't load. Let's take your time. This is going to take a couple minutes. Uh, let's go ahead and fast forward. And we are back. You can see the index hole is back, so we know we've gone all the way around. Now, I'm going to go to the other side. I said because this side is for your side A, this side for your side B. Uh, it, there might not be anything on the back. Maybe it's just notch for the fun of it. But to clean this uh, side B side, we're actually going to do the same for the front. So I'm not going to film that. One more thing, look at all this dirt we got off. Uh, this is off that one side, so maybe that's why it's not loading. I sure hope. 
All right, so that took a few minutes to clean that. So let's put that back in the drive and come up here. You got the tripod. What the? We have a directory listing. Check this out. What's on this disc? We have Arts Backup, Activision Backup. Let's see if it will load. Oh, it's a good sign. Guys, there you have it. We got Fast Backup, Nibble Backup, Disk Utilities. Let's see what Nibble Backup so Let's see if that loads. Hit Y to continue. Insert sorts to see what it looks like. I think that was going to be kind of a slow. Because if it had a... If it had a 4 minute backup, the nibble backup was probably like 10 minutes. Let's see what kind of disk utilities we have. Let's see if that loads. Alright, next thing I need to do is... All right, next thing I need to do will be to dump this disc. I don't see anything that important or that great. How about those, uh, how about those other programs on this? Do we just load those separately? Uh-oh, this stuff takes too long. Let's see what else is on here. With Jiffy DOS, you can load the directory. And hit, uh, run stop. And you can see what's on here. So we can do alignment check, air detector finder, nine second format. Is that on here? Really? Check that out. Nine second format. We're going to get a blank disk. I don't know how long that took. It seems like it took longer than nine seconds. Let's see what else we got on this disc. Make sure you have the disc right protect on there. Oh, these are error makers. No knock. Let's just load these and see what it says. Oh, insert original disc. Oh. Well, we know Arts use a lot of uh, fat tracks on tracks 34 and 35, so it probably produces those. And Activision used a lot of Vorpal protection, so it probably has something to do with that. But let's load it and see. Oh, there's two here programs for Activision. Uh oh, that didn't work. Maybe it's this one. Alright, well that didn't work, but can we list the program? That doesn't help. Anyways, so thanks for watching. Uh, click that subscribe button down there somewhere and post your comments. Uh, what do you think of this program? Check out my Commodore 64 blog at d4copyprotection.com and as always, post comments. I try to reply to most of them. And thank you for watching.